Hi, my name is George. This is me. I'm nine years old and was born here in Spain, where I live with my wacky family. Mum, Dad, Nanny, Grandad, my sister and brother, Molly and Arthur. The evil twins. Not really, but they do drive me insane. Since the pandemic started, I've been learning to cook with my dad, who has his own barbecue business. We've cooked everything on our grills. Ribs, pulled pork, chicken and veg. We even did Christmas dinner on them. And now he calls me the saucy piglet. It's really easy. In fact, it's so easy, I'm going to show you how to cook some of the best food you'll ever taste. And along the way, I'll teach you a bit of Spanish too. Porque hablo español fluido. Así que vamos, cocinemos un poco. This kid is smoking. Hello, bienvenidos. Welcome to the Saucy Piglet's Outdoor Kitchen. Before we start, I would like to thank everyone who has subscribed and supported me. If you haven't already subscribed, please hit the button below so you won't miss any of my future videos. Also, if you like my videos, hit the like button or even better, leave a comment. Today's episode is by special request. El episodio de hoy es por pedido especial. I've had a few requests for vegetarian food, so today I'm going to make a couple of dishes using cauliflower. First, I'm making my fresh and zingy Cajun cauliflower steaks. They are super healthy and ideal as a starter or main course. Then, I'm making my fajita cauliflower burgers with homemade guacamole and zesty salsa. Cauliflower in Spanish is coliflor. Let's get the steaks ready. Carefully cut a whole cauliflower in half. Then, cut a one inch slice from both sides. These are your steaks. Put the remainder of the cauliflower to one side for the burgers. Product placement alert! For seasoning, we're using the Saucy Pig's Pogs. And for flavouring, we're using the Saucy Pig's Cajun Burger Mix. Put a pinch of the Saucy Pig Pogs and two teaspoons of the Saucy Pig's Cajun Burger Mix in some olive oil. Mix and generously coat each steak on both sides. Put them on a baking tray and put them in the smoker. When you're ready, pop them into the smoker or oven, set the, which is set at 100, 150 centigrade or 300 Fahrenheit to 10 to 15 minutes. While they're, while they're in there, I just want to say that the saucy pigs, rubs and spices can be used in a normal oven so you don't have to cook them in a barbecue or a smoker. I just like the flavour they add to the food. Love Plus, living in Spain, barbecuing is a way of life. Es viva España! While the steak finishes off, we're going to make a topping with some diced red peppers, green peppers, red onions, grated cheese and a squeeze of lemon juice. Red pepper in Spanish is pimiento rojo. Green pepper in Spanish is pimiento verde. Red onion in Spanish is cebolla rojo. Cheese in Spanish is queso. Che grated cheese in Spanish is queso rallado. Lemon in Spanish is limón. In a bowl, add two tablespoons of red pepper, green pepper, red onion, 
grated cheese, the juice of half a lemon and mix together. When the steaks are a nice golden colour, spoon a nice thick even layer of the topping on each steak and return to the smoker. After 15 to 20 minutes, the steaks are ready. They'll be tender and the topping will be nice and hot. There we have them, my Cajun flavoured cauliflower steaks with lemon salsa topping. Fresh, zingy and super healthy. Okay, now we're going all Mexican. <laughs> We're using the same ingredients, so place the remaining cauliflower in a blender to make cauliflower rice. You could cheat and buy cauliflower rice from the shop, but what's the point when it's so easy? Remember, fresher is better! Pulse it until you get a breadcrumb consistency. Empty the cauliflower rice onto a baking tray in a nice even layer and place it in the smoker for 20 to 30 minutes, remembering to stir the rice every five minutes. This is going to take out any moisture in the cauliflower and stop the burgers from being too sloppy. While that's drying out, we're gonna make some fresh breadcrumbs. In the same blender, break half a baguette or four slices of bread and pulse down until you get breadcrumbs. Again, you can buy breadcrumbs in the shop, but fresher is better. Bread in Spanish is pan. Breadcrumbs in Spanish is pan rallado. Don't forget to stir the cauliflower rice every five minutes until it's a nice golden colour. When the rice is a nice and golden colour, let it cool down and then it's ready to put the burgers together. Product placement alert! We're using the Saucy Pigs Fajita Burger Mix. <laughs> put the cauliflower rice in a bowl, add the breadcrumbs, two tablespoons of diced red pepper, green peppers, red onion, two tablespoons of cheese, one teaspoon of the Saucy Pigs Pogs, two tablespoons of the Saucy Pigs Fajita Burger Mix, one egg and the juice of half a lime and mix. Egg in Spanish is huevo. Eggs is huevos. Lime in Spanish is lima. Mix it together completely, then form it into burgers by making a ball of the mix in the palm of your hand, then flattening it down. This should give you four good sized burgers. When you're ready, set the temperature on your smoker to 230 centigrade or 450 Fahrenheit. Place them on the grill and cook for 15 minutes each side until they are nice and brown with a crispy coating. It's time to get the guac on and make the guacamole. <laughs> to do this, we need four avocados, a juice from half a lemon and half a lime, and some saucy pigs pogs. Avocado in Spanish is aguacate. Cut the avocado in half and carefully remove the stone. Scoop the inside into a bowl and mash it down. Keep mashing until it gets nice and creamy but still has a few small lumps of avocado. Next, add one teaspoon of saucy pig pogs and mix. Finally, add the lemon and lime juice and mix completely. If you want, you can cut some cherry tomatoes into quarters and add them to the guacamole. But this is optional. So I'm going to do half with tomatoes and half without. There you have my homemade guacamole. One with, one without. Now let's make the zesty salsa. In a bowl, add two tablespoons of red pepper, green pepper, red onion, grated cheese and the juice of half a lime. 
Mix together and voila, there is your salsa. When the burgers are golden brown on both sides, smear a little of the guacamole on the bottom, a bit of lettuce, then the burger. Add a slice of beef tomato. Tomato in Spanish is tomate. And top with a spoon of salsa. Put the lids on and you have a healthy fajita cauliflower burger with homemade guacamole and zesty salsa. There you are. My super healthy Cajun cauliflower steaks and my fajita cauliflower burgers with homemade guacamole and zesty salsa. Two super healthy cauliflower dishes. Try them for yourself and let me know how they turned out for you. Please remember to subscribe and like by hitting the buttons below and join me the next time for another episode from the Saucy Piglet. Adios amigos! I think I'll go lie down in the grassy meadow and hug a tree. <gasps> this kid is okay.